Hey, good morning, Naples Church family and friends. Marie and I hope you had a wonderful Christmas Eve and hope you have a wonderful Christmas morning today with your family and friends and all the activities that you're going to do. And as you're watching this today, I just want us to prepare ourselves for this coming year. I uh, want to share just a couple thoughts with you before I get into the message this morning. Number one is, as you know, we're starting the new series, A Better Me, um, the next Sunday. Well, I guess it would be this Sunday. And I just so encourage you to come and be a part. I know it's New Year's Day, but what a better way to start off than being in church and putting God first. And the other thing is, if you haven't, haven't been water baptized, I just want to encourage you to go online and sign up to be water baptized and just start the year just in a just a great positive way or maybe some of you have just uh you know you're recommitting your life to the lord this year and heading in the right direction and you just want you just really feel like you'd like to get baptized uh because it's been many many years and if you'd like to get baptized again please sign up for that so let me just share just a short message with you it's only about two hours long so don't worry about it i won't take up too much of your day no, you guys know I'm just kidding. You know, it's just a, a short message just to, you know, put our focus on Christ and what we're to do and what it's all about and just really prepare for next year and prepare our hearts for next year. And let me just give you an opening thought, and that is this. When the world is distracted by busyness, you don't have to be. You can take a break from being busy. And our curse in our life, I think, is the busyness of so many things to do and work and family and kids and travel and games and sports and et cetera, et cetera, that what we have to watch out for is the curse of busyness. The world will keep you running with crazy. And I want to encourage you to look at your life. So let me just give you three quick thoughts to help you uh, maybe make some positive changes of being too busy. The first thought is this, change your pace. Second, change your priorities. And third, change your perspective. And I think these can help us from being too busy in this coming year. Look at our pace, look at our priorities, and we can look at our perspective of life. And so let's reflect on that a little bit. Let's reflect on what's happened this last year. And as we reflect on Christ and Christmas and even going back to COVID when we were all locked up and how we went on walks together and we went on bike rides together and we just really did so many family things. And then it ended and we got busy again. And today you're with family, you're slowing down, you're not busy. Maybe some of you aren't answering your phone. You know, you're just putting it away so you can be with family. So let's reflect a second and here's a question for you. What is being busy? How much has it cost you this year? What's it really costing you? What's it costing us being so busy? And what could happen if we just took a break from being so busy? What if we just got a little more still, be a little more present in our families and just let God do the blessings in our lives instead of just always chasing after things? And it's just a great thing just to be a little reflective of. What has our busyness cost us uh, with our kids, in our marriage, in our health? And reflect on that. And let's just really stop and say, okay, Lord, if I'm gonna be a better me in this coming year, what can I you know, prioritize different? What pace can I change? What perspective do I need to change inside of me? So let me just end with this verse of scripture and it's Psalms 23 because I think it's such a great verse of scripture and just to remember Christmas and what Christ is all about and he's saying really Psalms 23 absolutely Psalms 23 says a Psalm of David the Lord's my shepherd I will not be in need he lets me lie down in green pastures he leaves me beside quiet waters he restores my soul he guides me in paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you're with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You've anointed my head with oil and my cup overflows. Certainly, goodness and faithfulness will follow me all the days of my life and my dwelling will be in the house of the Lord forever. So as we look at this, the Lord is my shepherd. Jesus was born 
We're celebrating this day that he, God sent him into this world so he could be the shepherd of our lives. And there's three key thoughts as we look at today of him being our shepherd, of him being our Lord, of him being our savior. And that is this, when Jesus is our shepherd, number one, he gives us joy and helps us to lay down in green pastures. Again, that deals with the pace of life, the pace. He makes us lie down in green pastures. That tells me that God does not want us operating at full steam ahead all the time. I think that's why he put the Sabbath and the principle of the Sabbath in there. The second one is this, in the sorrow of dark valleys. Here's a true or false. If God is with us, I will have all joy and no sorrows. Is that true or false? Well, of course, we know it's false. God's with us in all things. And in the hard times of life, and some of you have had difficult times this year, but just always remember that in sorrow, God's our joy, and that he'll never leave us, he'll never forsake us, because he says, I will walk through the valley with you. And then lastly, what we see about our shepherd is this, is that he brings joy into our lives as we looked at, I guess, yesterday too, uh, of goodness and faithfulness. And so just know as we go into this year, as Jesus is our Lord and Savior, he's our shepherd. Let's keep our trust in him. Let's keep our joy in him. And his goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. He's your shepherd. Let's trust him that today. We hope you have a great Christmas. God bless you. We will see you Sunday.